How's it going guys, it's TDShox5 here, and I'm actually kind of excited because I came home from school looking to make a video, and I realized that 1.8 is out, and I really didn't follow up with anything, and there's actually a lot of things you can do, um, I'm gonna actually pull it up right now, but then you can also place, I think it's buttons, on roofs, maybe not, that's a pretty good example, let's just get this. Yeah, see, finally you can place buttons on top of surfaces. Um, they find which I I think it's the, one of the things they should have had way longer. Uh, instead of just normal doors, they have a bunch of different new ones. Uh, as you guys can see, um, let me just clear off the space here. Should have done this at the time. I was really excited to do this. Um, this is the normal door. This is the spruce door, which I think looks really cool. Birch door, jungle door, a keika door, I think I can pronounce it. And then I think, no, there's the oak door, and that's it. There's so much new doors, and it looks so, so cool. They should have added this way, way longer. Um, I thought it was just a really, really cool little tweak. Or not tweak, I'm thinking of iOS stuff. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And let's just move on to the other ones. There's a bunch of other things I don't know. What? Oh, I want to see how this thing looks. Move forward. It's a freaking bunny! Look at it! You're mine. I know it's hard. You're just mine. Fred, don't judge Fred. Okay. Um, what else? What else? What else? <clears throat> Chiseled stone bricks, villagers, and harvest crops, and pl oh, finally. Okay, so basically, you know how when you go to a village and they um have all the crops and everything. Well, this one, uh, they'll actually plant the crops. Like if you go away from it, or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Um, ooh, they said that they can trade better. So let's try. Vill uh, I typed that wrong, didn't I? Villager. Let's just clear my inventory out. There we go. Okay, so that... Oh. Hello. Go away. I, want to... I don't want... Oh, I'm... I keep spawning him. Oh, that's pretty decent. 36 pot and flash. 3 or 8 gold. But another one. Uh, string, one uh, emerald for. See, now that's still a bit still overpriced. Um, how about you? Paper, that's actually really good. A book plus three emeralds get an enchanted book of punch one. It's not that bad. Um, so waiting for them to add a new ore. I mean, there's been a lot of discussion about it. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but there's. What I've heard is that. There should be new ores. I don't know if it's any going to come out, but I, they have added ores um, a little while ago. But I just think it'd be cool to have something different than what we already have now. Shape, that's his. You cannot be in his cage. Oh, uh, the. I'm sorry. I know what you went on. You can run free. Still gonna chase you down later. You can't even move. What's the point of doing that? <gasps> don't drown. Can I do drown? Okay, they're done. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Wait. What? What did he drop? Oh, that was a, I was wondering what did the um, villager drop? I was like, how did it drop uh, wool? Anyway, um, worlds added hidden debug mode. Let's see, added a spectator game mode. Oof. Uh, added one achievement. Added hidden. You can you now have a world banner. Added a bunch of different commands. I'm not really gonna try out. You can try them for yourself. Um, containers can be locked in custom maps. Okay, so that's pretty cool. If you, I read a little bit ahead of you what, what else I was reading. So basically, if you want a world and you're creating it, like, it's awesome survival world and it's the best one ever, and you don't want people going, uh, um, forward slash game mode one after they opened it to land, and 
allowed uh, cheats. Basically, what you could do is you go to options and then you could lock the world difficulty so you could have it peaceful, easy, normal, hard, and that way they cannot change it even if they open it to land. So that's actually pretty cool, especially for people that make maps like jump maps and everything. It'll keep the rage going with people, I guess. Um, as you guys probably know, I hate losing at jump maps, but that jump map, so I'm kind of under, kind of glad that I didn't have to do it today. Um, added starts command, stats command starts, I'm so stupid. Added three new statistics. Player skins can now have double layered across the whole model, and left right arms can be edited. Uh, added new player model, added options and configuring what pieces and the skin. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Difficulty setting is safe for a world and can be locked if wanted, like I just said. Village trading has been rebalanced. Anvil repairing has been balanced. Okay. Max render distance has been increased to 32. Ooh, I don't know if my computer can handle my crash. Uh, can I do that? I don't know if my computer will be able to run it, though. Because I have mine in slow chunks. Mainly because I just want the highest FPS. Oh, no, my mouse. Also, by the way, uh, I didn't tell you. Good thing it actually fell as I... Um, got a new mouse. I like it a lot better than what I had. So video settings, let's go to 6, uh, wait, 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 they said 32 chunks. That's not 32 chunks. Anyway, you guys can see why I don't play on this, because it's like a lot of lag. But, uh, they said, uh, max render distance has been increased to 32 chunks. Huh. Apparently not. They lied to us. Um, whatever, I usually just keep it around 5. That's usually been good to me, and I usually just keep everything off. Because right now I'm getting like 100, 200 FPS just for the purpose of making little videos, I guess. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, there's a lot of different types of mods, or not mods, I'm so used to playing Minecraft and stuff, uh, with different things. Uh, but there's a lot of different things that you can do. Um, Let's see, is that new enemy blocks? What does that do? That's when you break them. I don't know, I really just usually don't have audio coming on. Oh, it's alternate block, I can't read it all. Yeah, it's not new there. Anyway, um, let's just see if I missed. Um, can you destroy data tag? Uh, their textures, blah blah blah. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Um, mob heads for players can now show both skin layers. Buttons can now be placed in the ceiling, which I showed you guys. Lots and lots of other changes, lots and lots of other changes. <laughs> if you guys, wait, can I highlight that? Or, yeah, remove here, right? Right there, so that's pretty funny. Um, so I'm just gonna like go over this slowly, and then you guys can like pause the video wherever you want. So I'm just gonna like easily go down it, and you guys can pause it whenever you want, I might do it just a little bit faster, just for the purpose of this video, and then you can just pause it, and then you can just read whatever you want, so you don't have to jump on your computer and do it, but anyway, I was going to do the no map, and I was also going to do Amnesia, but it is what it is, I, I was going to do Amnesia on Monday, but it is, oh, it's my time, um, I always get that one wrong. Set time zero. Oh, I didn't do space, didn't I? I did. Oh, I don't want. Oh. What is it? Time set zero? Oh, there we go. Time set. Okay. Ooh, you laid an egg for me, little buddy. My egg. My egg. Yeah, okay. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro, what? <gasps> wait a minute. Is that when you killed like sheep? Wait, wait, wait. Sheep. Because I've never seen those. Mainly because I don't even know how to make them. Huh. Huh. I don't know. But yeah, there's a bunch of different doors, there's a bunch of different things and stuff you can do with this. And yeah. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. I want to check out the sheep thing. So if you sh kill a sheep, it does give you food. About freaking time. Wait, can you actually eat it? Oh, I'll take that in wrong. Oh, he came back! See, I told you you like me. 
Oh, I tasted the wrong one. Now I have to just run around, I guess. Anyway, I'll be back when my hunger's out and I'll see if I can eat it. Which I'm probably sure you can. Okay, guys, I don't know if what I, what's happening, but it, maybe it's just a bug or it's really in our favor. I've been running around for literally about 15 minutes, and I don't take hunger. Like, I've been waiting for the... I've been just running around like, like this in a circle for like 15 minutes, just up and back and forth. And then get this. Look at my, my health. It's full, right? There's nothing wrong with my health, but as soon as I jump off this, watch how fast it regenerates. I don't know if just the way I have it or what... There's nothing wrong with Minecraft, or there has to be a, a bug with Minecraft 1.8. So I jump off. Okay, look. Look at how fast that takes to revive me. Like, I don't even have time to do, get back up the mountain and do it again. Well, that's an awesome bug if that's happening, because then we could just go under survival and we can never be hungry. We could always just revive ourselves. Well, anyway, I was going to eat the mutton, but I guess not. Sorry for the lag, too. It's just because I've been, like, running around a lot. Um... I don't know. That's weird. But, uh, yeah. I just wanted to show you guys the new update of Minecraft 1.7. 1.8. I'm so used to saying 1.7. You can go check it. Uh, 1.7. Um, I just thought it'd be cool to show you. Just have a relaxing day because, I don't know. The one, uh, when I play, what's it called? Um... Was it? Oh, when I played the jump, the jump map, like the just jump, uh, it was stressful. It really was. If you guys didn't play that, that then you guys don't understand the stress. I mean, yeah, people are gonna say, oh no, it's just a game. Well, it's stressful, even though it's just a game. So yeah, I don't know. You can do that. I was just randomly testing that too. So apparently, if you're on a door, you just keep up. You can just do this. Maybe you have to start from this side. You have to keep start with the door like this, and you can just walk. Walk, 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 walk. 360. And land. I landed perfectly on this. I just didn't do it. Sheep wins the award. Give me your mutton. I could build the world with this one piece of wool. Two pieces of wool. One. Here's my house. It has a door and everything. Oh. I'll see you guys in the next video. I really hope you guys like this. Mr. Chicken hopes you guys liked it too. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It does help. And yeah, I will see you guys in Friday's video.